Got a fight between villain group. Whoa, this intro though. High octane start. And the villains are fighting. Send heroes. Hey, she got text too. That's how you know they're powerful. She's only the third person so far, I think. After Mineta and Mirio. And she has name cards, double name cards. Oh, this is their this is their work study. Whoa! Now that was a useful lesson wow, from their work study. How to generate text. And you've been working on your attack timing. It's much better. Number nine on the hero Number nine, chart, nice. Dragoon Another hero top ten hero. Ryuchu. Neji Rehado, a member of UA High's Big Three, is her work study student. She's Got recently it. been Got joined it. by Ochako Uraraka and Ochako Uraraka. from Class One A. I mean, these two deserve it. Students or not, you've already proved yourselves to be valuable assets. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> they have a role for you in a new case. That's either coming. already there. Nidai, All Might's former sidekick, has issued a request to team up. Ah, uh, and here's where the paths cross. Interesting. The investigation and takedown of the Yakuza group Shie Hasaikai. Uh, I'm sorry. Is it weird that I find this? <laughs> Villain adorable? He's so cute. <laughs> Watch him, like, kill one of the students. Given the League of Villains' possible involvement, it's a big job. And it's getting bigger by the minute now that Shigaraki has joined and his people. This is just a wild guess I'm gonna throw out there, but I feel like if there ends up being a power struggle between the two of them, the edge Shigaraki has is that he's kind to his people. I think that's been a point of development for him, actually. He started off by being really confrontational with his subordinates, let's call them. But we've seen recently that they're they're pretty much on the same page and they have regard for each other. And Mask Guy, what is his name? Outdoors? Outgoing? Outbound? Has shown he doesn't mind killing his subordinates if they make mistakes. You had me walking in circles underground for 30 minutes. I'm not an ant. Right, so we get the rest of this conversation. Anyway, down to business. Did you really mean so what cute. you said on the phone the other day? <laughs> that you'll join us under the right conditions? Don't start celebrating just yet. Mm, a little confrontation. Put your foot down. The table will get dirty. No, please. You really ought to mind your manners. Testing the limits a little bit. appreciate disrespect. Now we won't be putting ourselves under you. Okay, so much for that. Stop acting like you're in charge here. Yeah, who the hell do you think you are, you little pop? Oh my god, that was who do you surprising. Think you are. We expect concessions in return for what we lost. Using his losses as a bargaining chip. Interesting. The least we can do is hear the guy out. Yeah, it's not so cute anymore. <laughs> like I said before, your friends got jumpy. I'm gonna keep my foot on this table and other things too. It's part yeah, of the yeah, plan, yeah. right? Right. And this is so dangerous. So dangerous. If I'm understanding it correctly, that is quirk neutralizing juice in bullet form, right? And there goes everything that they've been working on if that lands, right? Like, there goes Mirio's powers of nothingness if that hits. And you could presumably shoot it from a long distance. You just have to get them out in the open. And then they're just, what, human beings. I don't know his plan, and I'm sure it's great, but already with those bullets, it's a big deal. If only Mirio had been around. Please, I'm a cheeky. I'm begging Here's you. A third member. Introduce me to whoever you do your work study with. You gotta, you gotta. There you go. Take some initiative. Man, we're gonna work on those delicate nerves of yours, Tamaki, and then you'll be worth your weight in gold. Oh, your expectations only drag me deeper into oh, no. this. It's always like this. <laughs> he spirals so easily. Sometimes when things get crazy, I feel useless too. There's a gap between me and my classmates that's only getting wider. But I'm doing my best to close that gap so I can fight beside them. That right there, that's called positivity. It doesn't really matter what he calls it because I'm guessing he's able to show up when he needs to, otherwise he wouldn't be here, right? You know, when I was younger, I feel like this is something I, I mistakenly thought for a long time. I feel like I was overly concerned with the mind state I was in because I thought if you cultivate the, the right mind state, all things flow from that. Like the way I thought about it back then was that having confidence is the gateway to good things. Like if you have confidence, people open doors for you or you get what you want or you have success in relationships or you make the right friendships or you get the right jobs, right? And so cultivating confidence from within was the way to get the things I needed. But the older I get, the more I feel like that is severely lacking as a, as a strategy or worldview. For one, it's really, really hard to develop confidence just through thought. The message we get a lot of the times is that you should just believe in yourself as sort of a default state. When the reality is usually more like you need to like prove yourself to yourself first. You need to meet your own expectations. That's sort of where confidence comes from in my opinion. There's an element of like self-worth that should be intrinsic, I think, but confidence, let's say, I think that comes from experience. And then also, and very strangely, in my opinion, you cannot believe in yourself 
for one minute and still accomplish things. A lot of the experiences that I'm most grateful for are things that I never believed could happen until they happened. And it wasn't that I trusted those dreams to come true. It wasn't this thing you hear of like, believe in yourself and you can succeed. It was just that I took action. Like I just took action no matter what. And yeah, maybe there's some faith there, right? Maybe there's some faith involved. Like why take action if you don't have faith that there's something better than that? But I, I really mean it when I say in any new endeavor, I have very, very low self-confidence. I have trouble imagining that what I want can ever happen. This literally has been my exact experience over the last couple months. Like I did something I didn't believe could come true and it came true and I'm still shocked that it came true. But the reason it came true was because I took the right steps. It wasn't because I just thought myself into some state where now I'm confident and so every action I do is correct. You know, it wasn't that at all. So this guy, he's doing the work study. That's good enough. He'll make it. Or maybe he'll get hit with a quirk canceling bullet and die. Not so fast. Back. Help me, I'm sinking. He's like Snorlax, my hero academia version. Tentacles? Who's this freak? Tentacles? That's not what I expected. He's got wings too. UA High third year and member of the big three, Tamaki Amajiki. Quirk manifest. His body can take on characteristics of whatever he eats. He got the tentacles oh. from Takayaki. Oh, that's an interesting quirk. It felt terrible. Are you kidding? You did it, man. You did it anyway. Oh no, that just makes it worse. <laughs> All these expectations on my shoulders. It's up to me. Oh, oh no, oh no guns. Oh no guns, it's the worst, the worst thing ever. strange thing happened to Compress after he was shot with this. Oh, oh no, I was just joking. Harden, hardening, hardening, hardening. break the natural order of things. Oh my God, this, this is the most excruciating exposition of all time. <laughs> Explain later. What is happening? Now's your chance, man! Little by little. Are you okay? Yes, Both hardening. Of you. Get like down I said. Now. Piece by piece. No, he hardened. We're laying though. the groundwork for what's to come. Hardening. Kirishima is suddenly like super useful. I mean he's always been useful, but like extra useful. He can deflect bullets, which is the most dangerous thing. I didn't even realize how correct I was at that time. All these jokes about how bullets and guns are the most dangerous thing, this is legit like the most terrifying thing for any of these students and people. And I feel like I haven't even realize the full extent of it. If it's related to all for one, it's not just neutralizing powers, right? There's something greater happening. Does it also inject something into them? Something that can be activated later, perhaps? Oh no, he did get hit. Why there were two bullets. Working? Get back here! I'm not hurt, but my quirk won't activate! <clears throat> Is a racer nearby or something? Does it come back? That would be a real tragedy if it was gone. <clears throat> Kirishima is just Red the counter! best neutralizer for this, this whole thing, this whole plan. Now come quietly, or it's gonna get a lot Damn, look worse. at this guy. He's come a long way, for real. Wait, you're crying? <laughs> oh no. The ultimate quirk. Tears. Pops out blades a whopping 10 centimeters long like a bunch of dinky box cutters. <laughs> get yourself together, man. I understand how you feel, but if I not... This is not what Kirishima was expecting to go to this guy. Shot at real Therapy power. time. You don't understand anything, hero. Don't act like you do! What did he just do? What is this red stuff? What did you do? I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost. Is it the same fluid? There's fluid that they're shooting people with to neutralize their powers, and there's fluid they're injecting themselves with to give themselves greater power. Maybe it's just two different and opposite formulas. You can imagine how that would shift the tide, you know, to neutralize heroes' powers while enhancing villains' powers. That would be a lot. But I wonder what the duration is. If it's permanent, that's sort of a big deal. An even bigger deal than I thought. My initial guess was that it was sort of a, a tranquilizer, you know, sort of tranquilizing their quirks, but seems like it's more than that. These criminals are part of a gang selling illegal drugs around this area. Oh no, not illegal drugs. I have to end this right here. I love this like Everybody, Kirishima solo hero episode. It's awesome. Blades can't reach. He's cutting me. If his blades are sharper than my heart. Right, he has sort of a short duration close. for this quirk. You can't take that much abuse. Oh man, I'm on such a crazy freaking high right now. Oh, it makes you feel good too. <laughs> if I'm being honest with myself, I'm pretty mediocre. Anything but mediocre. Stop it. You think you can't keep up? You must have forgotten what you told me during the cavalry battle. Whoa, look at this. Tell him, Bakugo. Tell him. And what All Might showed us at Kamino. That just standing up means you are strong. <laughs> Whoa, look at this guy. This is awesome. Grow stronger! <laughs> and spirit! A wall that's indestructible! That's pretty damn cool. Yeah, and, and it will be offense if he does it right. This is my quirk at its maximum! That is amazing. 
Fred Riot! Looks great. And he gets taxed. I cannot be brought down! And I look badass. Here I come! <laughs> I just gave up. On one spot. Okay. You. That's pretty damn cool too. I'll have to make sure he keeps attacking me! I feel like his voice hardened too. Ultimate move! <laughs> It like blew a hole through him. Red he's dead. Hiroshima's first kill. But he's got guts, huh? <laughs> Amazing. He blew out the other guy's guts. I just wanted it's to pretty get crappy started. drug if the high is only Please lasts two minutes. Go. I'm nothing but a pathetic weakling who wanted a taste of power. Yeah, we know. can't do that. We're you aware. shot Sun Eater. Sorry, I'm late to the party. Fat gum. What's his name? Fat Colm? BMI hero, Fat Gum. His quote, fat, fat absorption. Fat. He can Gum. suck anything Gum. into his oversized body. Why do they call him Fat Gum, I wonder? Thank you, young man. You Save were a lot of people. incredible back there. The way you kept his blades from hitting us was insane. Right, he also showed critical thinking. Like, now. not ducking the out of the way. Scared of a guy like that. He took the blow. Yeah, he deserved it. You'll be an amazing hero someday. I'm sure You will be. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Young man, what's your hero name? Yeah, I want to know too. I'm Red Riot. Uh. <laughs> well, you can bet that's a name I won't be forgetting. I feel so, so proud. I feel an overwhelming sense of satisfaction for Kirishima right now. But what is, what is this? What is going on? Maybe now. He's got a... Maybe I could be. Got some guilt about something. So that was a lot to take in. There's so many great parts of that, but probably my favorite is the fact that Bakugo giving back to best boy Kirishima, like, not for the first time, of course, but man, was that satisfying. Because Kirishima is one of those people who's always so giving. He gives just because he's good and caring. And for him to be one of the first people, one of the only people to see through Bakugo, to realize what most viewers don't realize about him, that he actually is like, a, you know, a solid person. And to be sort of this friend to him, or brother to him in a way, and put up with this cold exterior for so long, to have Bakugo clearly understand that and be able to give back to him in a moment of weakness is just so satisfying. And not only was it great because Bakugo showed concern for his friend, but also his message was amazing. And his message was dead on and on theme with All Might and Deku and Bakugo and, and the characters who are struggling to be great. And I think the bigger message that's been building there for some time is that it's not the quirks that make them heroes. It's the choices they make and especially the choices they make in distress. You know, the choices they make in difficult situations. All Might took a stand and defeated All for One even though he expected that to be the day he died. You know, there's almost nothing that reflects on one's will more than that. And so it's also satisfying to see Kirishima benefit from that lesson through Bakugo, right? Like it's such a special moment. His quirk powered up, huh? Power yeah, this show's got a lot of explaining to do. Japan. It didn't last long, so it was probably a black market version. The ones from the U.S. work at least an hour. Shout out to the U.S. <laughs> fat. I've got they just some call him Fat. That, that is... Gun they had. Okay. It got smashed up in all the chaos, but it definitely wasn't a normal weapon. Are your powers back? That is the burning question for me. You shine so brightly. Let's stop. Like the sun. Stop. We're the same way. I wouldn't even be here if you hadn't gotten me this You're making it worse. Study. Complimenting me. I've heard of power-boosting drugs before. They were originally made to help people with weak quirks. Mm -hmm. But ones that can completely stop someone from using their abilities? Right. Well, that's it's bad news. Have the same, same hole, it this seems. could be a supersized problem. It, it could be, right? After credit a scene. A few days after my work study began. Oh yeah, Deku. I forgot about him. <laughs> Holy crap, Kirishima! Take a look at this! Yeah, who's the big dog now? Kirishima, the symbol of peace? It could happen. It's not impossible. No, oh, no. See where your, where your vice gets you? Right, they also had a big day. Kicks at Ryukyu Agency. Two there for a work study. That's so cool. Wow. I can't believe this is real. I was going to come in and give them a reality check. Keep them focused. I must thank you for your service. But a student's top priority is academics. Or Ida. Ida gets them straight. Books. Yeah, let's learn stuff. We got this, right? <sighs> Remember. We all learn at our own pace. Yeah, who cares, right? <laughs> he was really quick to go go to that route. The school doesn't matter route. I get the situation, even if I don't know the details. But every day, the memory of that girl eats away at me more and more. Yeah, pretty dark end there. Yeah, I too have been thinking a lot about that moment and this dilemma. And I think it's pretty clear from like a meta standpoint, from a viewer standpoint on the show that Mirio is not the one. I mean, Mirio is awesome. I love him to death. He's a great guy with a great attitude, great powers, great body, 
presumably a great Willy, started from the bottom and now is here, right? Like, there's just so many great things about him, but he's a character that's been introduced late, and Deku is the one we've been following, and we've been following him for a reason, and the reason is he's going to be the greatest hero. That's just sort of the meta-analysis, but you know what? That actually doesn't even matter, because the show has shown that it's clearly comfortable taking risks if the tournament is any indication, right? Having people lose that they're supposed to win, etc. But more important than that, I think, more important than sort of the viewer's expectations is sort of thematically what the show has been building. And my growing sense, although I could be totally wrong, is that Deku represents the greatest hero, not because he will become All Might. In fact, he might become the greatest hero despite the expectations of All Might. Or more accurately, there are probably a lot of things from All Might he will incorporate to carry on the legacy while also making it his own, which is a very, very hero story thing. Think of Avatar, right? Aang is the Avatar and carries on the legacy of the Avatars and does his job willingly, but also does it in a way that is authentic to Aang. And so my growing feeling is that Deku is going to reinvent the whole thing, or at least do so in a new iteration or in a big way. And I think one thing that was key about that interaction was that Mirio is very, very much in line, it seems, with the sort of the natural and current order. Ultimately, they did have that double voiceover where they, they both decided it was a hero's job to help. But I think initially Mirio's reaction was that no follow the follow the rules follow the boss's orders follow the plan and that's very understandable life is complicated and maybe you do more harm than good helping right there but there's something deeply unsatisfying about that right there's something way more satisfying about Deku's approach. And so I think there's something there, something really important in terms of what they're building hero-wise. And it's not the prevailing order. It's possible Deku will, will end up going against the prevailing order. There's a lot of evidence to suggest that this, this system has sort of stagnated. It's really hard to be against Deku's heart in this issue, you know, to let someone go, someone who's clearly in distress because of some longer term plan. Although everything I'm saying could be totally invalidated by just like Night Eye's foresight. I don't know. Anyway, to summarize my feelings about this, at least where I am now, Mirio might be a better All Might than Deku. He might be a better symbol of peace, but that's sort of not what we're going for anymore. We had that. That was All Might. All Might is not there anymore. There's not going to be another All Might. There can definitely be other great heroes in ways that are unique to those heroes. Or my growing theory that it's going to be a group of heroes and not one solitary figure, even if there's a leader. But yeah, that's just the end credit scene. We'll have to see where it goes. That is the end of episode five. I'll see you guys next time when we pick up the main arc, I'm guessing, and see where the villains are going and where the hero stories intersect. Mm -hmm.